It's a stormy day. I'm storm watching. See if I can catch a lightning bolt. guess what we are saying goodbye <laughs> to this area wahoo the time has come I can't believe it I mean I've enjoyed this area though it's been amazing and beautiful oh, let me show you Yeah, so I got the news that my PCM arrived on Monday and it's at the mechanics. So I'm going to get it installed on Wednesday, get some supplies and stuff, and then I'll be out of here no later than it looks like maybe Thursday because we are starting to go into a heat wave. So every day it's going to get hotter and hotter and hotter. Today was 92. By Thursday it will be 98. So I'm looking forward to going up into the mountains, getting into higher elevation, and getting into some cooler weather. So I am so glad that that is here. And also my mechanic told me that she thinks it is a brand new PCM because there is still a, uh, there's a Chrysler sticker on the PCM. On, with, and their sticker too, of course, because there's a warranty with it. But I thought that was pretty interesting to find out about that sticker. So I'm going to look at it because she said in her experience that they don't have the sticker like the way it is. Um, not br broken or something. I don't know. She'll show, she'll show me when I get in there. Uh, so hopefully that's good news. Maybe I do have a brand new one, so we'll see. Um, yeah, but I'll still have my old one just in case, and I shared in the last video what my plan is going to be, okay? Now, what's going on right now is packing up, and where I'm going, I will not have strong internet. So this may be my last update uh, but pretty much hopefully unless something goes wrong I mean but then you know just follow me on my Instagram at Irene's Ventures again I'll put it in uh, text here for you because I can keep more current there because of internet speeds especially when I start traveling getting up into higher elevations and mountains you need what's called upload speeds internet speeds to be able to upload videos and I don't get that a lot of times when I'm traveling in the mountains and then you have download speeds your download speeds allow you to uh, stream basically YouTube and stuff like that so that's pretty easy to do or go on Facebook I just need to have my hotspot but to upload 
you need to have strong speeds and if you have weak speeds you could be trying for hours and hours and hours and not get anywhere or maybe you can get something in six hours but it, it's a nightmare so I don't even try to do that if I don't have those good strong speeds I do have a video though a surprise well it's not a surprise now because I'm telling you but you'll have to wait to see it but I am going to upload and get it on a, a schedule release is a video um, celebrating Milo's 12, 12 year birthday so July 30th is his birthday and I can't believe he made it to 12 years <laughs> I'm so excited so I had to put a little special video you know with some pictures and clips of him so all my Milo fans out there can definitely go there when I release that on probably the morning of the 30th I'll have it scheduled and just you know celebrate his birthday with me I'd really appreciate that because I just am so blown away that he made it to 12. I was really worried about, remember him, that one year that I was stuck in the Pacific Northwest through the winter. We were at an RV park and it was so cold and that wet cold really is hard when you have arthritis, spinal issues and stuff. He does like I do. I watched him cripple up like I was crippled up, you know. The pain level is so much higher uh, when you're dealing with a wet cold. I didn't think he was going to make it. I really didn't. And he did. And then he did fine this last winter out in, uh, you know, warmer, well, warmer than the Pacific Northwest, let's put it that way, and a drier cold. We both did better. And again, anybody who's new to my channel, I, I travel with uh, spinal disabilities and some other stuff and arthritis. So um, just to keep it short. But yeah, so temperature, winter climate conditions definitely do affect um, our mobility so I am so happy 12 <laughs> you know let's see if I get 13 uh, Buster was my longest living dog at almost 13 by one month so we'll see if Milo can beat that huh we'll see um, so anyways I'm glad that I'm going to be getting free getting out of here be right at the start of this you know heat wave I thought it was going to hit at the end of the week but it didn't uh, apparently it came in a little early so I'm so glad that we will be wrapping up the business here and getting out of here and getting into cooler climate where I'm going we'll have a lot more tea storms though um, maybe not so much in the next week I heard and I will be hanging out into the mountains until I figure out what my next step will be because I needed to get back to Oregon to take care of some business and I'm trying to find another way around it hopefully something will work for me to work out my business that I needed to take care of maybe online or some other way so we'll see um, I'll keep you posted on that or maybe I'll just stay out this way if I can get this other situation worked out okay so I want to just get a quick update um, to everybody and also say that I'm sorry I haven't been able to uh, get back to sorry if this gets wiggly it's got a little breezy all of a sudden right when I started filming um, and I want to fly my drone um, so anyways thank you for the comments on the last couple of videos I promise to get caught up once I um, you know get out of here and I get settled again then I'll get caught up on those comments and I appreciate all the comments I really do I've just been scrambling trying to get that last video out the anniversary and now Milo celebration video and then this one so I've been doing a lot of videos a lot of social media way closer together than I'm used to doing on top of now trying to pack up so I hope you understand please be patient with me I will get to the comments um, just as soon as I land but I do appreciate 
all the comments from everybody. I really do. And for following my journey. So stay tuned where I take you guys next, you know. I don't even know what it's going to look like. I've never been up in that area before. So it's new territory for me um, here in Utah. So stay tuned. Remember, follow me on uh, Instagram at Irene Spencers. That was uh, some kind of a loud vehicle going by off. There's another road just a, over on the next one over, but nobody seems to go down this one. But they hardly ever go down that road. Uh, once in a while, you'll get somebody, and boy, that was something loud. Anyways, follow me on Instagram, and I keep more current with pictures and, you know, whatever's going on without disclosing my immediate you know like where i'm at but i don't do that for a couple of reasons for safety and number two i'm also trying to protect a lot of these areas because they are getting destroyed by people so i for one do not want to disclose my locations and i haven't been doing that for a really long time i keep those camping spots secret I just need to because I'm just out trying to protect them and they don't get mobbed by a bunch of people and then trash because unfortunately that's what's been happening so I need to protect I feel those places but get the word out if they don't want to see these places get closed down start taking care of our public lands pick up your trash leave no trace uh, that means everything. Trash, um, when you go to the bathroom, dig, bury, be a cat, you know, dig deep, uh, take it out, you know, whenever you can. Uh, and also that means guns, gun shells and everything. So broken glass. I mean, there's just, you see everything out there. So please take care of our land or more and more land is going to get shut down. And we're not going to have areas to... Um, enjoy or more the next generation after me because remember I did share my age I'll be 60 this year so I'm retired and it's the generation behind me that I really feel the most sorry for if people don't wake up and pick up and take care of this land out there so I do my part to protect it pick up too when I'm traveling and see something um, I do my part so that's my little message thank you for following my journey and I'll see you in that next video on where I land next <laughs> I'm so excited I can't believe it's finally here Wahoo! <laughs> all right see you over there